Story time, let's get ready with Fergie and friends. With Fergie and friends. Graham, goodness me, I loved your reading and it reminded me so much of my childhood. Uh, I just simply uh, can't thank you enough for bringing smiles to children's faces. Uh, your work and your uh, film and your reading uh, are going to children's hospitals, not just in the UK, but all over the world. And uh, so I'm so deeply grateful to you. And thank you, Graham, for uh, being so kind and giving up your time to bring a smile to a child's face. Lots of love, Sarah. Hello, my name's Graham Seed, and I'm going to read you a rather famous short story called The Real Princess by Hans Christian Andersen. There was once a prince who wanted to marry a princess, but then she must be a real princess. He traveled all over the world in hopes of finding such a one, but there was always something wrong. Princesses he found in plenty, but he could not make up his mind that they were real princesses. For now one thing, now another, seemed to him not quite right about them. At last he went back to his palace quite downcast because he wished so much to have a real princess for his wife and had not been able to find one. One evening a fearful tempest arose. It thundered and lightened and the rain came down in torrents. Besides it was as dark as pitch. All at once there was a violent knocking at the door and the old king, the prince's father, went out himself to open it. It was a princess who was standing outside. What with the rain and the wind, she was in a sad state. The water trickled from her hair and her clothes clung to her body. She said she was a real princess. Ah, we'll soon see about that, thought the old queen mother. She gave no hint whatever of what she was going to do, but went quietly into the bedroom, took all the bedclothes off the bed and put three little peas on the bedstead. Then she laid 20 mattresses, one upon the other, over the three peas and put 20 feather beds over the mattresses. Upon this bed, the princess was to spend the night. The next morning she was asked how she'd slept. Oh, very badly indeed, she replied. I've scarcely closed my eyes at all the whole night through. I did not know what was in my bed, but I had something hard under me and I'm all over black and blue. It's hurt me so much. Now it was plain that this must be a real princess since she'd been able to feel the three little peas through the 20 mattresses and 20 feather beds. None but a real princess could have had such a delicate sense of feeling. So, the prince made her his wife, being now convinced that he'd found a real princess. The three peas were, however, put into the Royal Museum, where they're still to be seen, if they've not been stolen, Notice that this is a true story. With Fergie and friends. With Fergie and friends. <laughs>